right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the OCP Summit. I'm Doug Bone from Hive Solutions. I'm here to talk about server and uh, rack options supporting OCP, particularly a new 48 volt open rack that we're debuting here today. Uh, in case you don't know, Hive Solutions is a um, company based here in Fremont nearby, dedicated to designing servers and manufacturing servers and racks for large internet uh, customers at hyperscale and near hyperscale sizes of data centers. Uh, Hive Solutions has a long history of working with OCP in terms of uh, designs and testing and integration, and I'll show you how the latest OCP rack that we're debuting today fits into, into that. Hive uh, deals with large customers, developing customized and highly innovative data center solutions at the rack level deployed worldwide. Our uh, manufacturing operations are here in California, also on the East Coast, in Europe, and in Asia. There's two basic paths that, that we at Hive use when we design and deploy data center equipment. The first is a highly customized engagement with customers where we deliver exactly what the customer needs, either from their specification or from a workload specification or a performance specification about what is needed. The other route, which is more germane to the, the open rack today, is to take innovative technologies and bring to market things that, that we believe provide advantages to customers from an efficiency standpoint, a performance standpoint, or an ease of operation standpoint. So when we come across these technologies or our engineers are able to develop these things, we like to bring things to market that seem to have broad applicability to customers. And OCP is an excellent uh, avenue for that because of the ability to leverage uh, the, the intelligence and the innovation throughout the OCP uh, community to help advance products more quickly. And certainly not what, just what we've done, but what the entire community has done about racks and open racks is a testament to how new, uh, new thoughts and new designs can have an impact. As I said, uh, Hive has been a long time um, member of um, the OCP community and basically has developed a series of servers, some of which are OCP, some of which are OCP inspired. This is kind of an example of some of the ambient servers that we've developed. This is a, a model of the heat distribution within servers. We actually like uh, servers that are accessible from the cold aisle for all servicing and all connectivity, but to cater to customers that need more traditional type servers as a bridge to that design. We also design servers that have more traditional airflow uh, and serviceability and connectivity from, from both sides. Though we always adhere as much as we can to the OCP values of serviceability and vanity-free design. Uh, we like to use fixed internal drives, for example, to promote um, to promote cost, uh, cost savings and simplicity in, in server designs. If you look at some of the sample servers that we produced uh, over the years, you see a very modular concept where we have one U or one OU servers that basically allow a, a combination of uh, drive densities. And uh, this is important because we see as customers move away from the idea of availability built into the server rather than at the software application. So we can do things like simplify server design with fixed internal drives, simplify the power subsystem, and obviously the open rack takes this a step further. So what I want to talk about now are, are racks, because without racks there's really no place to put the servers. So we have here some more traditional open racks and this process really has seen racks become more interesting in and of themselves. Whereas racks used to be pieces of sheet metal that house servers, now you have racks that produce their own efficiency and their own backup solutions. So the open rack that we're talking about today is a new 48 volt rack that conforms to the OCP version 2 specification. So the 48 volt capability is new, 
as, well, I mean, it's not new to the industry, but in terms of open rack, a 48 volt open rack is, is new compared to a 12 volt open rack or a more traditional rack. So this rack will have power distribution through the rack. So there are DC bus bars at the rear, uh, one per rack at the rear of the rack that distribute DC power throughout the rack. Very similar to the existing 12 volt open rack, but this rack operates the bus bars at 48 volts, actually about 54.5 nominally. But the idea is to distribute power through the rack so that individual servers, switches, and storage units can blind mate to the power distribution bus bar at the rear of the rack. So this is, uh, conforms to the open rack standard 2.0. It has a single bus bar for simplified electrical design, and it has shallow depth. So the depth of the rack, again, conforming to the OCP specification, allows uh, low impedance designs for airflow, which also enhance the overall thermal efficiency of the entire rack concept. The rack features power shelves, much like the traditional uh, open rack, that occupy generally about 3 OU of space. And these power shelves take in AC three-phase power, generally, though it can be designed to what your data center needs. That power comes into the power shelf, and rectifiers on the power shelf then create the 48-volt voltage that's distributed to the equipment within the rack. Now, the power supplies on the power shelf um, provide N plus one redundancy, so you don't need to design into the servers power supplies or redundancy because that's taken care of at the rack level. There's also a battery backup subsystem that's available in the rack. So there's a 3 OU battery backup module that provides 48-volt um, power to the rack in the event that there is an interruption to power into the rack or into the data center. So that battery module will provide two minutes of power to the equipment, which should be long enough to spin up uh, emergency generators at the data center or to otherwise correct whatever power problem has, uh, has creeped into your data center. So these things being incorporated into the rack and at a 48 volt power level create efficiencies that are higher than what would be available in a, in a traditional rack. So the advantages of 48 volt operation is that you eliminate some of the tight voltage uh, requirements that a 12 volt power distribution system in the rack would entail. You get to operate at lower current because you can deliver more power at a higher voltage, obviously, when using lower current. So this allows for um, simplified design of the bus bars. It allows for lower cost connectors, and it allows for higher uh, power density within the rack. So there's different models of these racks based on what particular modular components go into them. You can have a 24 kilowatt rack or a 36 kilowatt rack. And if more things are designed or more bus bars are used, those power densities per rack can increase. So we're not here to prescribe a particular, oops, we're not here to prescribe a particular power density or a particular kind of power shelf, but we want to have a rack that enables innovation at a higher voltage level to generate more efficiency in the data center. Um, the marketing people say this goes up to 60 nodes per rack, but as the proof is always in the configuration because the, the rack is a 42 OU rack, very traditional form factor, when if you allocate 3 OU for the uh, power shelf and 3 OU for the battery backup unit and a few OU for some switching gear, you've got about 30 to 34 OU left for uh, IT gear in various configurations. And based on what types of performance, you know, if you're putting GPU-based units in there, obviously there's going to be a lot more power density used per OU, but the overall message is that the 48-volt open rack allows designs that scale to higher power density than is available with a lot of lower voltage or configurations using traditional racks that don't provide in-rack power distribution. You're probably asking at this point what goes into the rack, and that is uh, a question for the slide after this one. <laughs> the, uh, one of the things that we're trying to do with the 48-volt racks is to have a very modular 
uh, approach to design, where we have different racks, different power shelves, different battery backup units, all of which can be intermixed depending on the exact requirements uh, in your data center or from your customers in terms of what is needed in the rack. So you could take a particular rack, you could decide not to use battery backup modules, you could use the higher density uh, power shelf, you could change the bus bar design because the racks are designed to allow this degree of flexibility and design freedom, which is a great attribute for any product that's going through the the OCP process of innovation and leveraging and redesign and improvements. So we invite everyone to tell us what you think of this rack, <laughs> politely, <laughs> and use the ideas in your own designs or come to us and indicate what changes you would need to make these types of racks a good fit for, for your own data centers. And that finally brings up the question of what to do about the equipment that goes into the rack. So these racks are at the prototype stage, and you can see some in our booth here, but the actual time to market for these racks is in the later half of the year. So now is the time to start thinking about what equipment needs to go into the racks so we can design solutions that meet your specific needs. So you're, I'm sure our sales team will be happy to talk to you about anything that, that, that you want put into these racks. But the idea would be we would want a relatively robust ecosystem of servers and storage units and top of rack switches that fit into the into the 48 volt open rack and give customers a good choice for a range of types of performance. I know people have already asked about GPUs and regular servers and storage and the idea would be any of these things can be designed to fit into this rack by blind mating into the bus bar. So the idea would be that there would be a, over time, assuming there's sufficient demand from uh, the user community, uh, an array of solutions provided by us and others allowing people to take advantage of this rack. And just to leave you with a few basic thoughts, the 48 volt rack is designed to be more efficient. It's designed to support higher power densities and it's designed to bring the backup functionality at the battery level seamlessly into the rack so people don't have to worry about backup power at the rack level or at the server level. And while these designs may seem in some ways similar to the 12 volt open rack, the 48 volt open rack provides a more efficient implementation owing to the higher voltage. And I invite you, if you're interested, to attend a panel discussion at 2.35 this afternoon with engineers from Google and Facebook and Hive talking about this rack and some of the rationale technically for how the innovative design confers efficiency and operational benefits to end users. So thank you very much. We look forward to selling you one of these racks at some point, or perhaps you can just say hi to it as you pass by one in a data center sometime. Thank you very much for your time, and please enjoy the rest of the show.